Man, 2018 was not the best year for Johnny. I was insecure, I was cynical, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing with my fashion. I still don't, so I'm surprised I still even had subscribers back then. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what these strips are, my New York sign fell down. I put it up multiple times, it keeps falling down. I'm just gonna leave it there, sorry guys. Hopefully in the next video, we'll be back up. Anyways, I decided to create a new series on the channel where I'm recreating my old outfits. Thank you for whoever suggested that on my channel. That's where the inspiration come from. I really appreciate it, guys. Since fashion is always cycling in new trends and I get into different types of things, I'm sure I'm going to find today's fits cringy in the future. So there's probably going to be no shortage of cringy outfits. Anyways, you guys click on the video. You guys know what this video is about. So let's get into it. And so first off, I set a few parameters. The recreated outfit has to have either the same color blocking or the same concept of how I composed that fit back then. So let's just say it was a summer outfit where I wore shorts. That's where the recreated outfit has to take inspiration from. And you guys are going to see that later in the video. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on, you know, parameters I should follow. So let's go ahead and find some cringy outfits. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean, I could probably just go back to yesterday and find some cringy outfits, but um, I'm gonna turn on my screen recording. But first off, this video is sponsored by ShopTagger. So ShopTagger is the best way to do online shopping. It saved me a ton of time, a ton of money when it comes to picking up clothes. Like the Deploy Cargo Pants from Nike Lab ACG. These are always out of stock in my size or out of stock in general. But fortunately with ShopTagger, they notified me of the restock in my size and I was able to capitalize on that before they sold out again. So here's how it works. Download the ShopTagger extension on Google Chrome or the mobile app on your phone phone and head over to one of your favorite stores you're going to see this icon that you can slide around and then you can start tagging some items when you tag items shop tagger will notify you via email or push notifications if the items ever go on sale or restock so you constantly don't have to check up on the site and or miss out on those sales or restocks you can make organized lists on items that you like to plan out what to pick up and even if the items aren't on sale you could always just go to checkout and shop tagger will pop up with the best potential coupon codes to save you even more money now this feature alone has saved me a ton of money over the years plus the cashback feature has finally arrived and you can earn some extra cash via paypal if you shop from a select of retail partners that's more money for you and guess what the app is free definitely check out the link below download shop tagger and once again thank you shop tagger for sponsoring this video okay so let's open up instagram let's go ahead and find some cringy outfits as you can see you probably find one right now <laughs> but let's go back a little bit further it's kind of the summertime right now towards the end of summertime so it's starting to get a little bit cooler but it's still kind of hot outside uh let's stick to that theme <laughs> all right so i think i'm gonna do this outfit right here let me tell you my mindset behind this outfit okay so back then you know i, I did i learned a little bit of, of color blocking this is 20 was this 2018 this is this is 2018 okay so Back then, I knew a little bit about color blocking. I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. And I was super into fitted clothes. Fitted clothes, fitted clothes, fitted clothes. Everything had to be fitted. And to me, in my humble opinion, fitted clothes and streetwear in general, just, you can do it, but for the most part, I feel like it, you can only do it whenever you layer. But this is just a regular, you know, normal summer outfit. Um, and uh, frugal man, I hope you're watching this. But I know, hey, you shot these, you shot these pictures, man. I wish you told me how shitty my outfits were. But um, <laughs> anyways, so the concept behind this was the olive top and the bread ones. Basically, that's complementary colors. If you guys know a little bit about color blocking, basically, if you mix those colors, it should come out neutral, and that's why they, you know, they complement each other. So painters always say, if you want to make your red pop paint some green next to it because they're complementary colors. It makes the red pop. It's just like orange and teal complementary colors. So that's why you always see that type of filter on the gram. What was cool about this this day was uh, we got hot pot afterwards and flushing. Those were the good old days. So let's see the top I'm wearing essentials long sleeve shirts. Um, nothing wrong with essentials. I really like their stuff anyways. I just didn't think I pulled it off right in this outfit. So uh, essentials top, you can see you, got, you can see the nipple going. I was obsessed with showing the physique, man. I wasn't even that swole. Okay, so the distressed black denim, I believe, I think it was the M, the minimal M1 denim. These had zippers, obviously. It was zipper denim, distressing. This is clearly 2016, 2017 vibes, but it was, it's 2018 now, and I'm still rocking this stuff. Um, and then the bread ones, and then when I was living in New York, I saw people popping their laces out on the side of the breads. I don't really do that anymore. I just I did it because everyone else did it back then. Jeez, man. And then I had some whack hair. Uh, yo, gotta look hard for the gram <laughs> type of face. And then I'm wearing a necklace from Rose Gold and Black. Not really into the black grenade type of necklaces anymore. Um, I always like the minimal bar necklaces. But yeah, that's a... Uh, 
that's a separate type of video and I'm I picked up something from this construction site it was very uh it was very industrial and workwear types of vibes that probably would have matched this the vibe of this picture perfectly but yeah this is a very <laughs> it's a very cringe outfit for me because man I thought I knew what I was doing back then for real for real <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna recreate this outfit. I'm gonna be following the color blocking so that'll be the olive and the red complementary colors So I have to follow the olive and red somehow in the fit and so let's check out the outfit So here's the recreated outfit. You know, I'd say I did a pretty solid job. So what's the same? Well, like I said, the concept of red and olive, two complementary colors that always work awesome together. Other than that, the entire silhouette of the fit is completely different. No longer are there skinnies and skin tight clothing items. So starting off, we got a simple black dad hat. Then for our top, we have this olive crew neck from Riot Division. What I really dig about this is it's asymmetrical pocket. It's a little offset at the bottom of the shirt and I kind of like that. And it also has this dual tone look, different shades of olive, you know, with the pocket and the shirt. And because there are cuffs on the ends of the sleeves, I use these to hike up my sleeves a little bit. If you guys saw my upgrade your boring outfits video, you could always grab a hair tie from your girl or whatever, maybe a rubber band and use that to roll up your sleeves. I really like how it looks. And instead of the grenade necklace, because it's 2020, we've got on a bandana. Now, if you guys have seen Christian's videos, he does this a lot way before the pandemic even started. And it's a really great way to add a pop of color, or in this case, a little pattern onto the outfit. Then a messenger bag from Uniqlo, you guys have heard me talk about this a lot, gives the fit a more technical look while just being able to carry my hand sanitizer, laptop and all that. So the top half of my body is completely different than 2018. Pants are from Uniqlo, simple straight cut pants, nothing too special. All I know is that Uniqlo has got your back with the hem length and they will also tailor your clothes if necessary. And then the breads. Now currently I'm in the mindset of you don't always have to show off the whole silhouette of the sneaker. I'll still do it, but like with skinny jeans and relaxed fitting pants, you got options. There are seven days of the week. Some days I'll let the pants engulf the entire sneaker and some days I like to show it off. Then a few accessories, I've got on the Orient Kamasu and a simple metal cuff. And that's fit number one, still a pretty simple fit, but elevated from the original 2018 cringy outfit. All right, what'd you guys think of that new updated outfit? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so now let's look for the second outfit. And since it's really hot right now in New Mexico, let's find a really, okay, I already found it. <laughs> this is like a true summer fit right here, right? So, <laughs> oh my God. All right, and I was obsessed we're trying to look swole, man. I, I was super insecure back then, man. I need the likes from the ladies for validation to feel 2018 Johnny, man. Ugh. Okay, so the concept behind this outfit, um, I'm wearing Vans Authentics. I'm wearing track shorts from, I forgot where it's from, EPTM? It was a long time ago. I'm just wearing a bro tank from H&M uh, and then a gold chain with a angel wing on it. Oh, Jesus. And then beat a bracelet, you know, the college vibes, you know, I'm, I'm a ladies man type of man. Woo! Okay, so the concept behind this outfit, I remember this outfit being worn a ton when I was living in Forest Hills. I was, I was kicking it with the homies. Um, I was living with Jimmy Zhang, you know, Frugal Aesthetic, Kurt Ritchie, and a few other people. What we would always do is we'd bring the board, we'd skate to Rite Aid, it was right down the street, and we'd buy, uh, or at least I'd buy, you know, either protein cookies, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, a monster, and some hot Cheetos, man. I'd buy that almost every single time. So, and then we would skate back just for fun. It was a beautiful night, Forest Hills, summertime, good vibes, okay? So we're gonna recreate this outfit following the concept of wearing shorts and the Vans make it a skater type of aesthetic. So we're gonna introduce a skater inspired outfit for our recreation. So to recreate and update this outfit, as you guys heard, I wore this fit to skate in the summertime heat out in Queens. Man, I miss those days. A lot of good memories. So for our fit, I went with just a simple contrast type of color blocking while incorporating some skate elements to the fit because when you skate, it's all about comfort. Yanni, you're a poser. Well, how about you shut your mouth and watch the video? Anyways, I rolled my ankle, so I'm not doing any fancy tricks or anything. 
but let's start out with the top. Now in the cringe outfit, the tank was white, so I pulled from that as well and rolled with the white Aerism boxy tee. It's peak summer here, pretty hot, so Aerism is the way to go and is a must to stay cool. Also threw on that same black cap from Amazon because there's no point in doing the hair if I'm just going to be sweating all day. But also like the last fit, that is the biggest difference that has changed from 2018 till now. I thought I could never wear hats, but that was just my limited belief until I tried one that actually fits my head shape. So just goes to show, try some stuff out and you'll most likely find what works for you instead of quickly disregarding it. Then we got on these shorts from Aesthetic Revolution. You know, it's moisture wicking, stretchy, 3M reflective, yada, yada, yada. It's a great pair of shorts. And then a simple black pair of crew socks from Gildan. And then the Niger 2s. Honestly, this is one of my favorite skate sneakers out right now. It has a runner cut and shape to it, but skates like a normal cup sole sneaker, and it has awesome durability. Y'all should really pick up the sneaker in all white if you have the chance. It's a great way to switch up the typical sneakers that we always wear, you know, white leather sneakers and Air Force Ones and all that. It's easy power phases. It's a completely different type of silhouette that a lot of people don't really wear. And finally, easy accessories that aren't too bulky because if I fall and I wore a watch, my wrist is going to be messed up. Fortunately, these items are pretty loose and can easily be taken off if needed. So my thought process on this fit was the Uniqlo T takes up a ton of real estate on my body. It's a massive contrast to anything I will wear on my fit. So to dilute that harsh white look, everything else on the fit had to be black, minus the sneakers, of course. Before, I always thought it was really hard to pull off a big white tee like this, but if the rest of your fit is one solid color, I find it looks a lot more cohesive. All right, so that was the second outfit. How do you guys like the the recreated outfits? You know, I think I did. I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, the bar wasn't that high to you know to cross, but um, yeah, I don't really see too many YouTubers making this type of video. So I hope this video picks up and inspires you guys to you know try and recreate an old outfit that you guys you know wore in the past. We all have cringy outfits, right? We all start somewhere. I wasn't the best skater. I'm still not, but all of us don't know how to ollie when we first start off. So we all start somewhere, guys. Uh, fashion is all about the journey. Even though I still don't know how to dress, I'm sure it's going to progress and mature over time. Mature as in, you know, get better, not like, oh, mature, uh, I'm going to start wearing uh, button-ups and a tie and a suit. Mature as in, like, the concepts and my mindset gets better with fashion. So that's really the whole fashion journey. If you guys found this video helpful, let me know in the comments down below. Some suggestions as well on some parameters I have to follow or just maybe, maybe an outfit. You guys can scroll through my Instagram. <laughs> at Fly with Johnny Ty, find a cringy outfit, leave a comment on there, and maybe you'll see that fit in a newer video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, turn that like button blue for the YouTube algorithm gods to bless the channel, please. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my second channel. It's a vlog channel where I show the behind the scenes of my life. It's more of a documentation type of thing. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, download shop tiger. I'm out. Peace.